What's up, fellow Saiyans? Welcome to episode one of the Marvel Mini Paints. Today we're doing Gambit. He's already primed up in uniform gray, if you were wondering, like, because normally he's just blue, but I sprayed him up with gray. And now Barbarian Flesh is the first color we're going to start with because it's a small area of his face. Usually want to get the smaller area or small area of the whole figure. Usually want to get the smaller tucked in areas first because it's easier to mess up and get them done early with touch up the details leading up to them. For the inside, we're going to use Necromancer Cloak. That's like on the details, like underneath the pink. Behind it, like his legs. And, and the cowl around his face. I'm using all Army Painter paints from the Mega Set. And this is, by the way, this is like, these are my first attempt at making or painting minifigures like I didn't I started with the first on episode zero I show you the first batch of ones I did I didn't expect them to turn out like that so I kept going I figured you know what I might as well make some videos of this Make sure you touch up underneath. See, like his his jacket makes it a little tough to get a lot of stuff. It's hard to see too. For the jacket, we're gonna be adding leather brown. And like I was saying, like if you're using a light overhead or something, it's cool. But the way that jacket wraps out and around, it like sh it always seems to be shading where you're trying to see. I don't know why. That just seems to be the way it goes. Again, I just th real th thin, quick coats. Just kind of cover all the area. You don't need to pile on the paint. It's okay if you touch the staff, you're gonna be covering that up later. Had to get a little fancy and pop out my other figures, you know. Here for his hair, we're gonna mix elven flesh and fur brown together to get like a. I don't know. I wasn't. I was kind of happy with how it turned out. I was considering tan flesh. You're doing the hair just be watch try to keep as much paint off that cow that headband on the cow as possible now for his inside his stomach and area we're going to be adding warlock purple by his chest and the little lines on his legs. I see like I did Colossus, so I felt it was only fair that I did a member of the blue team. 
So I figured I'd do Gambit. You know, he's pretty popular. But the thing is, like, I don't want to keep doing all the popular people first as much as people want to see them because that's going to take away. I have a lot of these figures to do. And I'm not trying to kill my own willpower to do these by doing all the ones I want to do. And then I'm not going to really give a shit about the others. So I got to do, like, a popular character here, a bunch of B list, C list characters, and maybe pop up with another one. Touching up the gloves, a little more necromancer cloak. Now this is <laughs> this is some old paint I had, some full guard pink glow paint. It's like fluorescent. I'm not using this yet. This is gonna be what goes on his cards, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't have this plan to begin with, but somehow I just managed to just keep adding the fluorescent layers to the cards and stuff. And the finished result was all right, but I've never experimented with this type of stuff. Like I said, I'm, this is, this is all painting these little miniatures is a whole new thing for me in general. So, using fluorescent paint and stuff like I've, that's new. For, the, for his little collar and his knees and his legs, shield, boot things, whatever the fuck they are. We're going to go with deep blue. Just make sure you get in there nice. Be real easy with it. Don't worry about what you... If you get a little blue on the pink or brown, it's okay. You'll be able to cover it back up. Two lines on each leg. One of those ones are the pink ones. And Gambit does have a little fire hydrant, like right underneath him in his jacket, which kind of is a pain in the ass. For the cards, we're going to take Matt White. And you're not going to need very much of this. Some dragon red for that fire hydrant, which ends up being one of the biggest pain in the asses in this whole figure. First, I want to get the eyes. Now, we're going to add gunmetal for his staff because it's a darker silver. Cover up the cards a little more. This time I'm going to start painting on the symbols like the spade, the heart, and the diamond. Now, for his base, we're going to do dark stone for all the cement and busted up concrete. This is generally, you can be kind of sloppy with this. You can also see how I got the first coat of the fluorescent paint right behind those cards.
Now, we're going to take some pure red. Now that the red, the necromancer cloak in the eyes, because his eyes are black with a red eyeball. So we got the necromancer cloak in the eyeballs themselves. Now we need to add a couple dots. Give him his eyes. Now, after the eyes dry, it's time for the flesh wash. So very sparsingly, we barely need any of this. I'm just gonna take some on the brush and just gently brush over his face. And then after the first coat, you might need to wipe your brush off and then just take some more off because if you put a little too much, it goes in the eye holes and it just makes a big dark mess. So I'm just gonna brush them off here. Next, we're taking soft tone for the hair in the upper parts of the jacket. And usually when I put the hair, anytime I'm toning or washing the hair, you want to hold them upside down and go backwards. So make sure you get the ink in all those little nooks and crannies. his chest now we'll be adding the strong tone for the bottom parts of the jacket and his legs, add a little bit of a darker shadows to it. And the key to using a wet palette like I'm using is there's a wet hydrofoam underneath each plastic or piece of paper palette that's on top of it. So it keeps that paint moist from the bottom. It makes your paints last two to three days. Like I could put the lid on this a couple days later, open it back up. My paints are still good to go. As you'll see in the next video. We're gonna also add some, uh, touch up the paint on the base. While we wait for that to dry, we're gonna add one more layer of fluorescent paint to the cards. And then here comes the dark tone. Now that the base is dry, we're gonna add our dark tone to both our staff, the bottoms of our legs and underneath and the base. that it's highlight time so I'm basically adding the matte white just a little dab of it to the hair to the chest and to the blue put the blue the pink and the hair but for the jacket I'm gonna use desert yellow and I'm gonna dry brush it just on because just because it's easy to do like jackets and clothes like that so just gently dry brush these edges Gonna pay attention to where the light's gonna be hitting.
for the rest of the colors. We're just going to be adding white to the blue, the pink, the flesh, and the hair. We're going to dry brush the hair, but we got we added white to our palette. Just brighten each color up a little bit. Now, for the highlights on the staff, we're going to use the Shining Silver, which I could have probably went a little brighter in hindsight, but like whitish, but this ain't too bad. Now, to dry brush the base. Now that our wash is dry, Gonna go up and add a touch of fluorescent paint to, to create a glow from the cards. And I'll probably just keep touching up the fluorescent paint here and there. Maybe add a little bit of white on the edge that the cards are on. And I'm liking the way he turned out. That's gonna look like it's our gambit. Another a little, I'm gonna finish up a couple touches here and there of everything. But other than that, I mean, he is ready to play. I just have to put a ring of matte black around him, around the entire figure, around the base, spray him with a varnish, and he'll be good to go. But thanks for watching. Later, Saiyans.